Welcome to my channel, I'm Dr. Romano. In today's video, we're gonna discuss what really is an entrepreneur and why do these people become so successful? Please remember to subscribe to my channel. You must do that, please, it will really help me out. And do thumbs up, it's right there. It doesn't hurt to press that button. Thank you so much. You could go to college and major in that. However, if you don't have that type of personality, then you're kind of wasting your time because becoming an entrepreneur or being an entrepreneur takes a lot of skills that you're either born with or possibly you could learn. I have noticed that entrepreneurs, when I've studied them and all the people in business that I've done research on, they all have the same quality. That same quality is never giving up. For example, myself, I will never give up on what I want to do and my future plans. And of course, there's a timing issue that it takes time and everything has to be in its place on when that project will start. This is also very important. So for example, Warren Buffett didn't really start until he was in his 50s, I think. And there's other people that have started in their dorm room like Ken Griffin. He was an entrepreneur, but maybe he realized he was really good at trading, but not really managing a company. So he hired a number of people from his own university, which was Harvard University. And that's also very important for management because uh, people who go to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, whatever, they're very good with management and their management skills. They're very articulated the way they speak, the way they remember things, etc. But for them being entrepreneurs, no, it's very rare. Uh, of course, uh, Ray Dalio, another hedge fund manager, one of the biggest, he went to Long Island University and then he went to Harvard Business School afterwards for his MBA. And yes, he did start um, Bridgewater after that, right after that. But he was a different type of person. Ray Dalio is a real entrepreneur because Entrepreneurs see things very differently. For example, Ken Griffin, when he was learning uh, how to trade, he was reading about trading strategies, and I'm sure based on his, his, his major, they were not probably teaching him different str uh, strategies because that's probably not a financial uh, college degree. Uh, I have an MBA in finance, risk management, and a PhD in financial management and leadership, but they didn't go over learning how to trade. And it's, it's very, very minimal, the education that we get. It's not so specialized like in Europe. A four-year degree, they are literally at the MBA level. It's very different, what I've noticed. Whereas the PhDs in America, they are the specialist. Whereas if you get a PhD in Europe, you're not really the specialist or on the same level as a PhD here in America. It's very different. Whatever happened to Ken Griffin in that dorm room, he was probably reading about trading strategies and wanted to learn how to make money because he was attracted to money and came across a strategy that he believed in and he started to make money. If he wasn't an entrepreneur, he would have been skeptical of that strategy. And that's the difference between entrepreneurs and non-entrepreneurs. The non-entrepreneurs, when I tell them I'm Dr. Hedge Fund on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel, they immediately re react with a, almost like they have devil eyes. They're jealous. They don't believe that's me. They're looking at the picture uh, and looking and looking to see if that's really me. Those are not entrepreneurs, unfortunately. The entrepreneurs that I meet, I could tell who they are because when I say I'm Dr. Hedgewan on YouTube, please remember to subscribe to my channel. I, would re I really need your help. When they get excited, when they see, wow, those are people that are not so skeptical. And those are entrepreneurs. And for business, being in business, you need to have an open mind. You have to say to yourself, well, I like that idea. I want to do it. And these entrepreneur types of people, they will listen in on a conversation. They'll get the idea 
And somehow they have this intrepid ability to bring together that idea. Those are entrepreneurs. Ray Dalio, he punched his, his boss in his face for his second job, which he didn't even have in a year. After college, he worked about less than two years. And he punched his boss at a party while he was drunk. Well, what probably happened was the boss probably said, no, oh, that's not a good idea, or didn't believe what he was saying, or had who the boss could have been just a manager. And unfortunately, people who are managers, most of them are just, they're not entrepreneurs. They're good at managing the day-to-day -day responsibilities, but to see and to be a visionary, such as Elon Musk, Elon Musk is a real entrepreneur because you say no to him and he'll go and do it. That's the difference between a entrepreneur and a non-entrepreneur. And this is why these people become so successful. Um, for example, they have a, a, a huge ability to be confident. Of course, Ken Griffin, he went to Harvard, and so that does give you confidence. But um, in other people's uh, history, they didn't go to those uh, universities, such as Cornelius Vanderbilt or John Jacob Astor or those families that have um, mega wealth back then. They didn't have it, but they had confidence. So when you start off young and you persevere, whatever you're trying to do, that gives you confidence because you realize you could take your confidence and apply it to something else. So if you learn how to ride a horse, you're not afraid to being around, being around a horse, you have confidence to do other sports because riding a horse and jumping in playing polo is, you need a lot of self-confidence for that. Because uh, at any point in time, you're, you're falling off the horse. Um, I actually think that's a lot of fun. But we'll save that for another video. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. You must do that. Please, it will really help me out. And do thumbs up. It's right there. It doesn't hurt to press that button. Thank you so much.